Every year from mid to late February, fisheries biologists check lakes to see how they fared through North Dakota's leanest months. Our fisheries crews have a select number of lakes that they go to every year to monitor. Uh, they go out and drill holes in the ice and they have meters that they drop down into the ice and do profiles. So they take oxygen measurements at various depths all the way from the surface to the bottom to see how that lake is, is doing. Biologists were pleasantly surprised with dissolved oxygen testing results. Well, considering how dry and severe the drought was last year, uh, we lost quite a bit of water across the state, and so we were kind of expecting to see more widespread winter kill in places. And then we started getting some snow cover this winter, and, and we've got some pretty heavy snow cover in certain areas, and that just compounds to it. So we thought we were going to see a lot worse conditions out there than we did. Gangle says there are a few lakes with winter kill potential, but they are lakes that typically had problems in the past. If you're fishing and suspect a lake winter killed, there are some things you can do to help fisheries biologists. If they see any signs of winter kill, like dead fish or really lethargic fish, or if the lake smells like rotten eggs when they punch a hole, uh, they should just contact the department. We'd sure appreciate getting those reports in, especially if it's a, if it's a pretty widespread kill. If a lake does winter kill, biologists have a plan in place to replenish fish populations. We're going to try to get it on a stocking request list for this spring yet. If it's a community fishery, like a lot of them often do winter kill, we'll get some catchable fish stocked back in there this spring during some of our other springs work. Overall, even with dry conditions, most lakes did well this winter. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.